Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the garage today. As you saw from the beginning of this video, we're doing a TMW off-road grill. Check it out. So originally this outer border is actually just comes in the same stainless uh, raw finish as the logo does. And the mesh grill is actually in a matte black, but I got them both powder coated black, gloss black, and the uh, logo I wrapped it with some uh, extra vinyl that I had laying around from my car. So um, the reason I did it this way is because I feel like it pops more. Now you can see there it's a fingerprint magnet and hopefully that won't be the case after I clean it, no one will touch it. But um, the reason I did this and the reason for this car being blue, honestly, is a theme that I got off a Camaro SS, like the 2016, 2017 Camaro SS. Uh, they have this blue, really nice. And most of the trim panels, like the front bumper, the side skirts, you know, all the ground effects, is in a gloss black. So I think that really pops. I like how it looks. And that's pretty much the theme I have going on with my car. So let's go ahead and install this. But before we do, I want to talk about some of the screws that I had to put in. So these five screws here, um, I actually had to put them on to assemble the grill because it is two different pieces, as you can see there. And then the uh, center emblem, I had to rivet it on. So put some rivets in there. No big deal. And that's where I'm at with it right now. Um, I got to pull off this grill, the OEM one. And I know there's some torques behind here that are kind of hard to get. And I'm going to show you what tool I'm using to uh, get those off. Here is this long ratcheting um, old ratchet. And it's got a Torx. It's a little stubby Torx. It's a blue point from the Snap-on truck. So I'm not sure where you can find this at a local, you know, Craftsman or AutoZone or whatever. I don't think you'll be able to find this. Um, I got this off Snap-on. You might be able to get away with using a quarter inch, uh, you know, shank bit, like something like this, but in the correct torque size. But yeah, it's gonna be a struggle because as you can see, or I'm gonna show you, there's not a lot of room. So this pops off. So it's gonna be hard to tell, but this little guy right here, this is a torque so you gotta get off on both sides. Um, it's kind of close to the radiator, so you gotta be very careful. And um, I already did the other side. It's going to be hard to show you guys that, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. Once you take off those two torques, you can pretty much just pull the grill towards you. Once you get the two screws out, this pretty much just pops off. And that's pretty much it. Wow, it looks kind of cool like that. Let me see. What do you think, guys? Dude, it looks cool like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Fuck it. Just got a little rock chip on the radiator. No big deal. All right. So this grill's not that hard to install. Let's be honest, a couple of screws here. So you got some longer ones. These are gonna go on the top. You got some shorter ones or medium sized ones. A few moments later. All right, after messing with it, I figured out that the best way to have everything evenly spaced is to use the medium bolts and spacers in the two center sections here. And then the longer ones on the corners. I tried doing it where these were on top. These were down here at the corners. That didn't work. I think this is the best way to do it. And let's see how it fits. Right, guys that's pretty much all there is to it we'll install this back on a little glass cleaner helps and that should just pop right on so i think it looks pretty damn good um i think the little touch i did with the blue makes it pop being a uh, gloss makes it pop too versus being matte black and uh, overall i'm very happy with it so enough of that shout out to the boys over at tyler metalworks tmwoffroad.com visit their website use my discount code frankg15 and get yourself 15 percent off whether that be a grill a shock tower brace a gusset kit because on the x3s you need it or if you got yourself a razor they got some badass pro xp doors that they just came out with so hit the website use the code and as always man thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you haven't and leave a comment down below on what you think of this grill